What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Here at Stealthy Wood, we've decided to make our inventory management more intuitive, efficient, and accurate by using the barcode app. Today, I'm going to show you everything we're doing just to get started using barcodes in our warehouse with a sneak peek into our upgrade plans for the future. So without further ado, let's get started with barcode. Real quick, before we get too far, let's take a step back and ask the real question here. What is a barcode? Barcodes are just a standardized system for encoding characters. There are several systems that can be used to take numbers and letters and turn them into the black and white stripes that we all know and love, but all of them involve first encoding the characters in a particular way, then translating those characters into the visual code read by barcode scanners. Code 39 is one of the simplest formats because its encoding just involves adding asterisks around your letter number sequence and then translating that character by character. Here, I used a free font called Libre Barcode 39 to convert the characters to barcode. And of course, I can scan this barcode with my barcode scanner. And look at that, it's gonna tell us to have a snack. However, not all scanners will read code 39. Code 128 is much more common and it has more complex encoding. It has a different start and stop codes and a checksum value that tells how many digits should have been in the barcode. It also can only have numbers or letters. Code 128 is also much more compact, letting you put more information in less space. G21-128 is a set of rules for barcodes using code 128 that stores information like global trade items or GTINs and other data like production dates or expiration dates. If you'd like to learn more about the GS1 barcode nomenclature, feel free to check out our documentation linked in the description. UPC and EAN are numeric only barcodes used in North America and Europe, respectively. So far, all the barcode types that we've discussed are linear or 1D barcodes. But wait, there is a second dimension available, creating our good friend, the QR code. QR codes were developed to have redundancies even if the QR code gets damaged or smudged, so it can often still be read. What a great quality barcode. Besides that, they can pack a lot of information in a tiny barcode, literally. With 2D barcodes, you can encode all the barcodes of an entire package into a single QR code. And we haven't even talked about our newest and fanciest variety of barcodes, the RFID. We'll cover that in a later video. Now that we're experts on barcodes, let's talk about barcode scanners. We know that barcodes are just texts encoded, so a barcode scanner is just a thing that reads that encoded text and enters it into your computer. So basically, it's a fancy keyboard. With the wide variety of scanners out there, we can group them into three types. USB scanners are the most affordable and can be both wired and wireless. Bluetooth scanners are wireless, great if you're using another mobile device like a tablet. And finally, mobile computer scanners are the priciest, but they combine both scanning and your app with a fantastic screen and everything. Here at Stealthy Wood, we chose this. It can scan any of the linear barcode types that we talked about earlier, and it didn't require a huge investment for us to get started. We're using laptops on our inventory floor, so it's just easy to put this dongle into a USB port and we're ready to scan. Now, we ordered our barcode scanners in the US, so they worked for us right out of the box. However, like I said earlier, a barcode scanner, when it connects to your device, is a keyboard, which means you may need to make sure it's using the same keyboard layout. Check out our barcode scanner setup documentation to learn more about how to get your device up and running. Now, in the future, here at Stealthy Wood, we would like to get one of these mobile computer scanners running Android. Unlike my USB scanner, this one can also scan 2D barcodes like QR codes. In Odoo, this means I can use GS1 compatible lot and serial numbers, and I can use multi-scan, which lets me scan the entire contents of a package from a single QR code. I can also install the barcode app on the scanner itself. All I have to do is use a browser to go to my Odoo database and open up the barcode app. In the top right corner, there's a button that says install, and I can tap that. This will take me to an install screen, and when I tap install, here it will install the barcode app as a web page and put it as an icon on my home screen. 
It's as easy as that to have a handheld autonomous barcode machine. So, what can we use barcode scanners for in Odoo? You may be thinking, well, obviously, you can use it with the barcode app. Barcode installs automatically alongside inventory and can be used to streamline inventory and manufacturing operations. But remember, a barcode scanner at the end of the day is just a keyboard, which means I can use it all over Odoo. For example, if I type forward slash here in my Odoo database and then type products, I can see every app that I have installed that references the products in our database, like sales, point of sale, e-commerce, and even purchase, and of course, many more. So for this, I'm going to click into purchase here. And that takes us to a list of our inventory that we can purchase from vendors. And if I scan my table leg barcode with our barcode scanner here, the search results will filter down to the item that I was just looking for. Look at that. We love efficiency. Besides barcodes for products, we can also have barcodes for locations in our warehouse and barcodes for operations and commands. Check out our operations and commands video to learn more about that. Moving on though, even employees can have barcodes. If I click into the employees application, click on my profile here, and then click on our settings tab, here in the attendance point of sale slash manufacturing section, here on the right, we'll find a badge ID field. And when I click this generate button here on the right, it gives me a badge ID number. Now, if I click the same area link, but that now says print badge, it'll print me a pretty PDF badge that has a barcode on it. And then I too have the honor of becoming a barcode. And now we have everything we need to start using barcodes in our Odoo database. We learned about many different types of barcodes and what kind of scanners we need to be able to read and use them in our database. In the next one, we'll look at the different ways we can give our products barcodes and print them out. Until then, I'll see you later, Odooers.